All right, hello everyone, and welcome to EVE Basics, episode 22, PvE Cap Stability. I'm going to throw my hat into the ring on cap stability here. It's a topic that comes up quite frequently when people are throwing fits around, and I just kind of wanted to go over it briefly. Um, what cap stability means and how it's not just a, uh, as so many things are, it's not just a one-size-fits-all solution to the problem, you have to ask yourself a bunch of questions first, like, do you feel lucky? No, not like that. Like, did I take the trash out? No, not like that. Like, would my dog look better if I shaved it? No, not like that, but more like, what am I going to use this ship to do, and how cap-stable does it actually need to be? So I have a couple of opinions on this. Um, your ship needs to be as cap-stable as it needs to be. All right, so what you have to ask yourself is, what am I going to be doing in this ship? So for this one, this is my Tech 2 Serpentis Rat Blaster Vexor build. Um, this is I, this was designed for ratting, and um, I but I also use it to run other things. Um, missioning is fine in this, and you can also do you know some of the bit larger combat anomalies and things like that. And so what I told myself is, I want to be able to run my Repper and my Hardeners forever. And so what I did was, I turned all this junk off, and I aimed to be cap stable when just these things were on, right? So without one of these cap rechargers, I don't make it. Um, are these both control circuits? Yeah, without these guys, I don't make it. So what I did was I just kept slapping stuff on until I was stable with these. Because what I figure is, if all else goes bad, I want these three things on all the time. I'm not going to be running in my micro warp drive all over the place. This is just to reposition myself so I can get into tight orbits around guys. And then, you know, I don't always need my blasters running 100% of the time. Although it's nice, it's not necessary because you're jumping between different targets and there's always some downtime for your blasters and your web. Um, remember that, um, you know, when you are are looking at, at at fits like this using enduring versions of stuff is really nice especially the experimental enduring hardeners and things like that these enduring things are amazing they save you so much cap it's silly and that you only lose two percent uh damage resist for it so i it's worth it every time i don't even know somebody somebody make a carnet argument why it's better to use the uh tech twos is there something better about these that i don't know that's for another video we're talking about cap here stay on target there's no, especially with a micro warp drive, if you're running an MWD, you, there's no real way to get cap stable and have any sort of anything left. Um, you'd have to put cap stuff down here and here and here. You cannot cap stable yourself with an MWD. And I don't think you want your MWD on the whole time, no matter what ship you're in. Um, in the longer missions and stuff, um, it might be beneficial to you know, pull, pull, a, pull like the web off or something and put another uh, recharger in just so you're even closer or, you know, you're even a little bit more stable. But, you know, running out of cap in a mission feels bad. There's lots of enemies in missions. And in order to do them efficiently, you want to be able to always be flying, always be shooting, always be repairing and always be hardening. So, you know, that's that's my thing with cap stability your ship needs to be as cap stable as it needs to be to do the thing it's supposed to do all the time so let's talk a little bit about cap too as long as we're in this video and it isn't terribly long yet so your capacitor much like your shields is at its best for some reason when it's at 25 percent that's when you're it's recharging the absolute hardest right when you're at 25 percent and so um, when things say 0% over here, when you are perfectly cap stable, that means that your capacitor will sit directly at 25%. That is where you are cap stable. So don't think, um, something's wrong. My cap is draining. Uh, if, but my thing says that I'm cap stable, but my cap's going away. It will go away until it reaches equilibrium somewhere around 25% or wherever this says over here. So here, let me turn this back off um, and turn turn off my guns and this thing. So you can see that I'm 10% cap stable and that happens when my capacitor is at 43.6%. That's where I'll hit equilibrium. Um, and so my capacitor will drain if I'm running just this stuff, right? All the way down to about there. And then that will, uh, it'll even out right there. It'll level out. So don't be worried about that. 
if your capacitor keeps going down even though you've shut most of your stuff off and you know your cap stable somewhere um, it'll it'll hit cap stability at a certain point because your capacitor does better the closer it gets to 25 percent and that goes for the other way too so as your capacitor goes from 100 to 25 percent it starts to increase its regen and as it goes from 25 percent down to zero percent it starts to decrease its regen so um, you know it's kind of this this weird wonky curve of regeneration on your cap so anyway that's pve cap stability i hope you learned something if you have any fits that you're wondering about toss them my way toss them in the comments and um, i love to talk about fits in eve um, and so yeah just let me know if you have any questions thanks on the next eve basics we're going to build a pve algos and we're going to fly it around and blow stuff up with it thanks for watching bye